Did you know that I really liked item doors? But in item doors in Minecraft are quite easy to do. You just need a couple of pistons and a couple of blocks and I can show you how to do one really simple in a couple of seconds. Just like so. Repeater on to take, red sun dust, red sun dust, a torch, torch, and a button. And just like this, you have an item door. What is less easy to do is to hide the mechanism to activate such a redstone door. And I, pre I will present you five designs of my creation. For me to use an hidden mechanism in my survival games, first it has to be simple and uh, also has to be simple to activate, uh, which means that uh, I should be able to use something that I always have on me. For example, it, I do not find practical to rename an item and use it as a key to open a redstone door because you have to open your under chest and uh, fetch the key and then place, place the key in the mechanism and uh, it really takes time. Therefore, this one involves something that I always have on my survival playthroughs, which is a water bucket. You just have to place the water bucket here, the door open, you can refill the water bucket and you can go to your ouch, uh, to your uh, hidden room. Let me explain how it works. So you have your water bucket and here you have a, a staircase and uh, which is facing uh, in the opposite direction of your, the player. You, when you place the water bucket, an observer detects the uh, bucket placement and a piston retract the staircase and um, get rid of the water. And uh, you can use the input to open a door. Let's do the tutorial part. First, you need to place a stir like so. And with an observer facing the stir, uh, underneath you need the piston to retract and get rid of the water. You take the output of the observer and place a four tick uh, repeater. Then underneath you just need a piston and an observer and like so you have your mechanism. As you can see when you place the water the observer gets activated. Send a pulse to this piston which retract this one, this the stair. Uh, this activates the um, observer a second time which send a second input to this piston then replace the stair in the original position. Then you can just grab an output from this block and uh, wire it to a redstone door. This mechanism has its flaws. Uh, the main one being that you need to refill the water bucket after emptying it in the stair. This one is different though. You still use the water bucket but you have to time it just right to open the door. Um, here you have to place the water bucket and retract it fast enough to activate the uh, lamp just above. If I retract it not fast enough, the lamp do not turn on. Turn on. The principle that I used on this one is that if you place and retract the water fast enough, it do not flows down. But if you wait too much, it does. As you can see, I have a second observer which detects if the water flows. And if it do not flow, only this observer is activated and you get an, out an output. Here is how you can build it. First place a stir, then a couple of blocks to prevent the water from spawning, then two observers facing outward to um, observe the water, then place two blocks, one repeater on one tick, then four tick. You get the output of the uh, observer below with a repeater on one tick, then redstone dust, I was not prepared enough. Then redstone dust and another repeater on one tick. And just like this, you have your output.
I mean, you don't have the output because I'm in creative, but uh, if you were in survival and uh, get the bucket fast enough, you would get an output. What I always had on me when I was playing survival before was an arrow and a bow. Therefore, this one uses this uh, uh, the shooting principle. You just have to shoot this corner here and you get a signal for this one. When you shoot in the corner of the wall, the minecart gets destroyed. You detect it via this observer, then send a pulse to send it back on the rail. To beat this one, you need a hopper facing outward. Uh, pointing into a trooper with a, a rail on top of it, then place a dispenser facing the rail. You take the output of the hopper like so uh, into a block. The block leads to a repeater. Then just place an observer like so and place a Minecraft into, uh, onto the rail. And you have your output right here. You may have noticed that I used the past tense for the last uh, hidden mechanism because I do not carry a bow on me when I play anymore. Um, but therefore this one is for older people <laughs> who just like me just carry your uh, axe, a pickaxe and a shovel. You just have to spam click just right here, and you get an output. This redstone contraption is definitely a bit more complicated because there's a special place where the armor stand needs to be, and um, you need to, um, to push it with a piston to align it correctly. Just like the Minecraft, when you spam click in the corner, the armor stand gets des destroyed, uh, go through the hopper, you detect the armor stand going through the hopper and then dispense it back again. Get ready for this one because uh, it is uh, definitely a bit more complicated. First place a chest right here, then you have to place a two dropper, one above the other, then a dispenser on top of it facing this, this way a hopper here a with a carpet on it then you take the input of this hopper into a comparator and a repeater on one tick block block redstone dust redstone dust on top of this to block to power the uh, dropper and dispenser a redstone to torch block on top of it here you'll have to place a rest on dust to power the piston, like so, and uh, use a block to prevent the rest on dust to connect. Then just place a couple of blocks to prevent the armor sand from uh, flying everywhere once uh, they are broken. Then you just have to place three armor sands in the dispenser and uh, power the dispenser once, like so. Then you will have to arm the system manually by breaking the armor stand once. And as you can see, the armor stand just appears in the corner of the block. The last mechanism is, uh, I have to admit, a bit more situational. It's only for heretics who um, have a Frost Walker 2 boots on their armor. You have to run toward this wall, then you have an output on this lamp. This one works fairly simply. If you want to reproduce it, you can just take a screenshot. But the mechanics involved are a bit more technical. Uh, this piston is budded uh, by those two redstone block. And when the water is froze, um, that updates the piston, which uh, send a quick pulse to this piston and uh, the redstone block is ejected. And when the water melts, um, 
the redstone block is retracted by, by the same quick pulls. Let me show you. Here, water melts. This one uh, extends and retracts uh, fast enough to eject the redstone block. And when the, the water melts, redstone block is retracted. And this concludes the first ever redstone video from Papi. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Um, you can always comment if you did not understand something and I will explain it to you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Au revoir.